This year's naming list was first put to use in 1981. There's the full list of names that started that season, and despite a few strong storms and threats, uh, they all survived and none of them got retired that year. In 1987, somehow Emily avoided the chopping block, even though it made a Category 4 landfall in the Dominican Republic. It too didn't get retired. 1993, however, saw an end to this trend with Cindy getting the boot there and being replaced with Colette. 1999 was another busy season, and even though there were a few other cyclones that could have affected these areas, it was Gert that saw itself become a very powerful Category 5 storm, Harvey following close by, and Ophelia also felt the wrath of the retirement committee when it moved through the Lesser Antilles, replaced with Gita and Orla. 2005 was a monstrous year, real world and what might have been. Don, a very powerful storm straight away, followed by a Category 5 Emily. And we saw other storms. Lenny, of course, becoming an extremely powerful Category 5 storm. Philippe moving through. Stan, Rita, both very powerful storms as well. We started to lose track of what storms got retired. And even Vince got retired for no reason at all. Replaced with those names. On we go to 2011, which had a very powerful Hurricane Harvey. Lee striking the Yucatan Peninsula as a very powerful storm. Maria swiping through the lesser at the Greater Antilles. And Tammy striking the east coast of the United States. There's the replacements. And in 2017, the first of what might have been, if I recall correctly, to have been animated in real time on Force 13, had some extremely powerful storms, Katrina and Orla being two of those extremely powerful Category 5s. There's Rena as well, also getting retired that season, replaced with Isha, Katia, Oriana and Reva. And finally, Dalin got retired in 2022, replaced with Daryl in the auxiliary list. So this year, the naming list looks like this. <laughs>